So I'm just updating my scenario here, my zombification. Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I actually did record and I uploaded an, uploaded another video, and that should give you an indication of m who I am right now versus you know the first you know five or six vlogs, and you know I have been talking about this zombification, so it, it's it's it, it's advancing. Um, you know if you listen to my first vlogs. I am furious and yelling and you can hear the anxiety and disgust and frustration in my voice. And by the way, that is maybe a three or four compared to how, how I was in April, May, June, July, August. Um, I'd say April, May, June, July, August have been my most furious and my most furious meaning throwing, I don't know about throwing things, but kind of like flicking things. I don't throw things. I don't understand why people throw things. You have to pick it up and pick up the pieces and broken glass if you do stuff like that. Um, I, used, I was punching the wall, but not really hurting my hand. I mean, I was just being tough, tough, tough guy, but definitely cursing God every day, saying F that this God, that guy, the Muslim God, the, the Jewish God, and the Christian God. Um, and See, I'm not even saying that anymore. They they change that. They change that. They're trying to make me cuss less, curse less. So, you know, saying things like darn it or um, what's the other thing that I said to the, today or the other day, yesterday, not the other day, that I was like, I never say that in place of, you know, God damn it. I say that still. I've all, I'm probably always going to say that. The problem, they might like nix that too, but um, I'm not yelling that much anymore when I was shrieking at the top of my lungs every day, saying F you, F you, fuck you, uh, f you know, cursing them. You know, for a couple of months there, I was reading about curses because I, I was, I think, I don't know if they're, if these people are Christian, pathological crazy Christians or Satanists or Luciferians because the narrative they send, the nar different narratives they send me are all over the place. You know, they're, aliens or reptilians or their internet interdimensional beings <laughs> i know it's hilarious well for any atheist or ag agnostic it's it would be funny to you and it should be or they are what else have they sent me um satanists who drink baby's blood and eat babies um they are pedophile that i believe that they are pedophiles they sent me a video of um Freemasons who are at the very top, I guess, marrying little boys off. Um, but you never know because they have video technology to show, um, to, to create anything easily, with ease these days. Um, but I, something tells, sometimes they send me things and it's, it's real. And it, it, it's real. And it's just so bizarre and depraved that it's sort of like it's sort of like truth stranger than fiction and that video where they were showing freemasons holding up swords crisscross you know they do it at the militaries when somebody's dead or somebody's i don't know what why they do that it's a tradition with freemasons walking down like i think there were four five six seven of them and with each one of the freemasons was coupled up with a young boy who's dressed up in all in white with a white veal veil come like you know how a wedding veil comes goes over a woman's face um and the the description of the twitter account uriel but it's spelled u y r e l l or something like that um said that freemasons when they get to like the 32nd or 33rd or whatever they have to sodomize and have sex with a little boy and have to be videotaped so um, and that's been sent to me multiple, multiple times where they, once you get high up, you have to do things that are abominable, depraved, hateful. I mean, what, is there a word for something like that? I, I, I search for words. That's why I call them maggots and cockroaches and pieces of shit, because even those words don't do them justice. But that's the video I got. Um, that was the one that was shared with me and it said that they are marrying off little boys. They were the boys in the video were like 10, 11, 12 and that they had to have sex with them and marry them. Um, and then they'd be blackmailed and that's why that's what keeps them from not talking along with uh, th um, threats of death and torture. 
um, threats like you know death and torture sort of like what happened to JFK and uh, Kobe Bryant and Marcus Garvey and Harvey Milk um, you know things like that uh, and Madeline Murray O'Hare that poor woman she was probably gang stalked incessantly she was killed along with her two children it's for being an atheist and it's being outspoken about it um, I just I feel so much for her I feel so so much sorrow for her such a brave and strong woman um, so much respect to alone pretty much like I'm doing but really alone face the world who were hateful to her first I mean, it sounds childish, like, it's you started it first, but p- the whole world is hateful to atheists when we are not hateful. In the beginning, we are not. We are, None of us are. Um, and constantly just abused and uh, uh, mentally, um, verbally abused, emotionally outcast for no reason, but just not believing in your mythical God. Not believing in your mythical God. Um, and it's come to my attention now that I think that that is created, sabotaged. Atheists are, you know, kind of in their life, they are sabotaged and isolated on purpose via this gang stalking program um, to make it look like, oh, look at atheists' lives. They, They are very alone. And that's because God is not in their life. This is happening because they don't have God. Um, oh, they're upset. They're, you know, possessed by demons and demons around them because they don't pray. When in actuality, it's the gang stalking that has been doing that. It's actually human beings who, since the dawn of time, dawn of their religion, your religion, Christianity, has murdered people for not for not believing. Um, you know, killed people for not believing the Crusades. Things you have a bloody history of killing people for not believing. You have verses in your Bible saying that if you don't believe you're going to go to hell and burn eternally um, I don't even think that the worst worst kind of person deserves that so you, you're you the kind of person that believes that and I'm not what does that say about you um, you know it, it's it, 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 and so all of this together here I am being gang stalked for being an atheist and being an outspoken really assertive yeah maybe sometimes rude person but I wasn't like this when I was much younger and I think that this was all um, it's all by design and that's why I don't feel any remorse no I don't feel any responsibility for anything that you may have heard that I did or has been said that I did that's just I I can't even feel any more positive and confident about it it's bullshit Um, and I I don't feel any more guilt I know that I probably have been rude but given the fact that you're sabotaged from so early and your life is you're surrounded by so much trauma and abuse um, from random people all over constantly day in and day out I mean that changes you so that's why I don't take accountability but here we are fast forward I mean the point of this video I'm digressing again is I'm pissed off I'm not you know, I'm fighting against these maggots, you guys, and I'm cursing God and I'm saying, screw you. Um, you know, they're doing different things. There's this like new noise campaign where there's this constant beeping going on outside. The a video that I just uploaded about the two fat cows, you know, gang stalkers look very uh, just disgusting, really disgusting looking people. Um, they moved in. Both of them are gang stalkers. One's talking loud on her phone and slamming her car door every time I open the door. Um, I went outside to throw out the trash f- for the first time in a long time. And um, Ginger Ryan is waiting there. Just He's not even trying to pretend anymore. Like He's standing by the door opening it and waiting for me to come down the stairs. And, um, and I looked at him and I said, oh, look. You're coming out. You're out of your house, your home at the same time that I am, and just as sarcastic as I could possibly be. And he looked at me with a sheepish, sheepish smile, and you know he didn't say anything. I think he chuckled or said, "Oh yeah," he didn't say anything because he knows that I know now, and I'm not even pretending, and he's not pretending. Um, because normally what somebody would say is, "What are you talking about?" or "Look at you like you're crazy." for saying that but none of the gang stalkers do because well um they know they're gang stalking you and they know you can't 
you have no recourse in reporting them or getting your information out because everything you own is hacked. You are constantly surrounded. The police are in on it. The firemen, the EMTs, community people who who try to say that they're good people or portray themselves as good people, but are who are the scum of the earth. Earth. Um, so yeah, that's that's been all happening. I've been resisting and. It's the same zombification. The whole point of this video is zombification. So 10 minutes in and I'm talking about, you know, I'll be furious and angry and I'm trying to resist, right? I'm trying with all my might to say, fuck you. I'm not going to do this. I don't want to live in your world with you. I mean, it's just shackles. I'm just, I'm like, not only just carrying a monkey on my back, I have a ball and chain on my leg. I've got shackles on my arms. I'm, you know, it's like 30% extra gravity. I'm walking around with all this bricks in my pocket. I can't even, I don't even have the joy of understanding my own skills and abilities through tackling a challenge like starting an e-commerce business. I, it's taken the joy out of everything that I'm doing right now as I'm trying to learn and build this business because they keep nagging me to do it and nagging, what I mean by nagging is mind controlling me to do it. You know, I want to do something else or I'll say, screw you. And then they'll turn on the mind control. And then the only thing you can think of, it's like your body has is, is, has strings and you're a puppet, is doing the work. And it's hard to explain unless it's happening to you. But yeah, so the, the, like I'll be angry, pissed off, screaming. And refu I even wrote a letter right here in red on white paper, red marker. No Amazon, no wealthy affiliate. And, and you're just like so adamant about it and not ir irrational and not depressed and not you know just you're just like you're steadfast it's a logical kind of a decision like you're just going to resist no matter what and then a couple of days of whatever they're doing I think it's it, it happens I think overnight when I'm sleeping it's subliminal because sometimes I've found myself as I'm sleeping you know when you're in that sleeping but waking state right when you're waking up talking to myself um, saying saying something that they want, like uh, I'll be talking to myself now. I'll say something like, um, "You want to do the work, or you're gonna be happy with your life, or just something weird that I would never say to myself." It's so bizarre, and I don't have multiple personality disorder. I was not molested. I don't have split personality disorder. I don't have any mental issues where I've had to take medication or have met a doctor and they have said. Have you thought about maybe is there something wrong? Nobody's ever said that to me. I don't have issues with it except the baggage that, and when I say baggage, my own baggage, not from gang stalking, not from the stuff that they have. I think my own baggage would have fit into an overhead overhead compartment. Just, you know, the stuff that I would have worked out on my own if the gang stalking never started. So, you know, it, it, it's like stuff I would never say. The subliminal, so going back to, you know, being upset, and completely said fast in what I want to do and then and it's not even just it, it's not that simple it's cursing it's drinking a beer and then going screw you I'm never gonna do this I'm not gonna be happy you know in that kind of a tone but louder sometimes and furious and trying to get in touch with my emotions because like as you can see I am more monotone, more stoic right now. I can't even raise my voice if I wanted to. They are erasing me. They are erasing who I am. Um, I cannot feel anger. I cannot feel frustration. I don't even remember what I've been angry about. And I'm like frantically writing about it and vlogging about it. And that's why I'm even, I started the vlog because I feel like I'm losing myself and I need to document it. But anyways, yeah, so then, you know, I wrote that letter saying I'm not going to do any work, screw you. And the next thing you know, I wake up the next day after a couple of days of their brainwashing, Manchurian candidate kind of a brainwashing, and I'm feeling like I want to work. I want to jump on Amazon and do, a, you know, product research and watch this Udemy course. And and it's it's like the last two or three days didn't even happen and it's not something that's gradual it's immediate like a light switch um, that is not normal when especially in a cycle so it's not normal period maybe if it happened once or a few times in your life like 
throughout the year. But since April, it's been happening. It probably it's probably happened probably if I had to count, it's probably happened. Um, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 times, uh, maybe more. I'm being conservative here, uh, where I'm screaming, cursing God, saying F you. You know, they send a spider across my, my little coffee table and scare the crap out of me. And, and then I, um, and by the way, that's happened in my house uh, probably like over like 20 times. Um, that's not normal. Why would I see a spider walk across my coffee table or on the wall as I'm wa- approaching the bathroom or and when I'm combing my hair, a black spider starts walking up the wall right behind me, behind show up as it not just walk, but these are not coincidences or in my car, you know, they showed up in my car or on my bed, you know, crawling over my laptop screen. Um, these are the, these are real exa- or when I was standing on my couch to fix the drapes right when I reached up there was one right there right in front of me um as I reached up things like you know you see a spider every once in a while or you see a rat or a mouse on the street like what when do like once every five years or something if you're in New New York maybe more but and I will get furious about it furious and I'm so mad I could I'm imagining slitting their throats taking a samurai sword and cutting them up the middle in half. Well, if you've been tortured as much as I have, or anybody that's been tortured on a scale of one to 10, if you've just been tortured, you want to murder these people with your bare hands. You want to rip their necks out with your own hands if you can. That's the level of anger. And then two, two days later, you're boom, happy as a lamb. And I don't know if that's the term. And you're ready to work. Like all the anger is gone. No anger. Zip, zero, um, nothing. That is not normal, and it is, you know, I can, and any kind of medical professional that's trying to convince you that it's something else by some obscure medical uh, condition that's in the DSM, they're lying to you. Um, this is gang stalking one o one. This is gang stalking protocol standard SOP standard operating procedure, um, and it, it, it's it's infuriating, right? <laughs> it's infuriating saying infuriating and being chuckling chuckling about it. Uh, when two months ago I wanted to jump off of a cliff because I'd rather die than go along with whatever they're trying to make me go along with here. It's an ends to a means to an end, and it's not for me. It's for them. And I can't stop it. Um, I can't stop it. And um, I know I'm not going to live the life that I want. And that, that might be part of it. They want me to live a life, maybe five more years, a few more years, ten more years of being in this state where I'm controlled. I'm in prison. I am going to le- live like a mediocre life with you know, making 60, 70, or $80,000 a year. Um, um, it's, it's just, you know, it's funny because I usually, I, I could before express what I felt, but now I'm not feeling that much anymore. It's almost like you're searching for the feeling and then you go there and it's not there. That, my friends, capital never n-e-v-e-r has never been me i have always been emotional and always being always had an emotion to tie down my verbal explanation to and now here i am um i i'm calling myself zombie k you know um zombification i am turning into something else and i just said today i said you know after I went downstairs and and ran into Ryan and looking at his face just makes me want to vomit, right? Um, and come, came back up and I said, I'm, I, I, you know, hey, look, I did what you asked me to do, which was like they wanted me to clean up and throw the trash out. So they're beaming that into my head, images of throwing the trash out, urging me to go, and it's like this overwhelming feeling to do it. And then so I did it, and and I came back up and I was like, I'm and 
Ryan was overly nice, trying to wave to me. Trying, so they're testing me to see, you know, they want me to be cooperative. They want me to obey. They want me to be obedient and calm and um, and submissive and be a lady, which is, ugh, I can feel a little bit of disgust there. But I come up and I said, look, if you guys want me to do that stuff, you're going to have to turn me into an at- 100% automaton because there's no way I am ever going to of my own self like who I am miss miss me this this I can't say my name but who first name last name who I am will never never be friends or be kind to any gang stalker so of course that's the next thing because well it actually happened today uh, I am so disgusted by these gang stalkers like I I I before if I ever came in contact with them I thought you know I'm gonna I'm gonna punch one in the face or I'm going to hurt them I could and before that like even a few months before that I could imagine easily and I'm talking easily my friends shooting my neighbors uh, because of the the years of gang stalking that they have been doing to me since I've been here um, it's like Chinese water water torture but slowly that went away I don't have an urge to do that anymore um, and then I was having issues with there was and after that then there was this big you know long you know pretty much three four five months of just not accepting the fact that I will ever ever uh, be okay with what they're doing out there the noise campaigns the jiggling of the fence the the slamming of the doors the the little beeps whatever that's coming from that's new and and then that was like and then the next, the other day, just re- and this is why I'm making this recording this vlog today. To, uh, I'm all of a sudden okay with it. Now this is like black and white. Before it it infuriated me. I would hear these noise campaigns, <clears throat> and my chest would start getting hot, and I would I would go over. This happened two days ago. I went over to the back door and I s- slam my heavy wooden door as hard as I could. It's a heavy wind door. Now you just imagine using all your force, all five foot nine of me, um, and my body weight, slamming it as hard as I can, and it's loud when it slams. And then I opened up it up again, and slammed it as hard as I could. And then I opened up it up again, and I slammed, it, and then I opened like I did it about five times. Boom! 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 Shaking the walls, shaking the walls below me. I live on the second floor. Um, so that's how furious I am. Do you know how angry that is? You know how much anger that is? And that's not even the full amount that I was angry. Uh, it, 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 they, they're zombifying me, so of course it's not. And two days ago, not today, but yesterday, I wake up, you know, just completely not upset by them anymore. Not upset by the noise campaigns. Not upset by the two fat cows. At least I can say that. They're probably going to prevent me from saying that now. Um, and just feeling really kind of nonchalant about it. Indifferent. Uh, having no emotion to it whatsoever. Not normal. Okay? Not normal. And um, just, you know, I'm, 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 I feel good. <laughs> I feel it's called the fake good, artificially good. They are forcing me to feel good. Um, I feel they they pump a lot of hope into my mind, lots of hope. Um, they are incessantly, incessantly pumping this idea to get a cat, a feline. Yep. I just watched a do-it-yourself reupholstering video today this is this is called directed media um i'll put it in the link and it'll probably be gone if anybody of worth actually ever sees it but the 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 reupholstering video watching it i've never watched a reupholstering video by the way and i searched it it it's the first one i clicked it at the end of the reupholstering video was the chair and on the chair was a pillow and it said all you need in life is love dot 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 and a cat so it would be just a coincidence if you saw that once but i see that every day every effing day get a cat oh life is so you know how special it is to get a cat you should get a cat it's time to adopt now every day multiple times a day 
Um, and that's gang stalking life. That's just one tiny, tiny fraction of a freaking fraction of a snowflake, piece of a snowflake of what gangs intricate weaving that one story intricate weaving of what they do to you they use mind control everything everything that's happening to you physical mental is gang stalking and so eventually i will probably get a cat even though i don't want a cat i don't want any more pets today even i said i will never get a pet never and then it changed to suddenly maybe i will get a cat even though i don't want a cat because i know they're going to murder it or kill it like they have with every single other pet that I've had. My run over pit bull, Rocky. My, I forgot about this. This is a memory that I forgot about. My the black and white kitten that I had that was killed by the neighbor's bloodhound. Um, they never apologized. They never said sorry. They never, and I always wondered about that. It's always like that wondering, that kind of like bizarre, the throwing of my Australian shepherd out a fourth floor window um, and the weird, <laughs> Just too much I don't want to digress woman who did it and how she acted afterwards like she was kind of pleased that she did it um, my cat Chester who stopped eating his food and for some reason I thought he was fine and then he was and he got sick and he died mind control um, in addition to probably poisoning his food when he's never ever had a problem with eating any kind of food before like zip he was a fat cat um there's more and I'm not going to say it here but because it'll really make me look crazy and I you know I'm 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 keen to that so I'm I'll leave it at that so the cat thing and the zombification um I don't like it I don't want it I I don't consent um I want my freedom and my liberty and if I don't get that I want a bullet to the head with by my own hand I don't want it by their hand I want it by my hand and I still 100% believe that um, because of all the hateful things that they have done, so hateful, man, you guys, if anyone normal is ever listening to this in the future, <sighs> raping kids, telling you about doing it and how it's, you know, done and kids in cages and eating them. Oh, yeah. They even very like three or four months ago, they sent me a video on Twitter, shared a video showing a kid being tortured. It was very hazy but he was being tortured and being yelled at. Um, and I watched it in horror, thinking to myself, this can't be real. This has got to be a fake video. But now, sitting here now, I don't think it was a fake video. Um, it was a kid in some kind of chamber, glass, see-through chamber, but not see-through. And again, the movie was very hazy, screaming at the top of his lungs. Like, like, a, like a, think of a cat in a shower, uh, you know glass shower closed all the doors closed and he was just banging and running around like a, a, a crazy cat screaming and jumping and slamming against the walls and and I think what was happening to him was hot scalding hot water was being poured on him from the shower head and he was just this I've never seen anything like it I've never seen anything like it what do you do when you see something like that um have you ever seen movies or television scenes where people are being shown horrific things so horrific that they can't stand it um there are things like that and that was one of them i i was in shock and my ability to cry is limited but i'm just tearing up right now a little before i would just start bawling but obviously my emotions are being withheld or being destroyed or deleted and these are the things they show you, okay? And again, minuscule things. Um, just, I can't even tell you the things that they tell me that they do, have done to people. You know, they threatened me with, they threatened me about two weeks ago saying that what would it be like to wake up with your head attached to a cat's body and looking over and seeing your body attached to the, the cat's head. Um, and that, again to a lay person is the, a lay person would go what like I did back in November when all this started but um, now after being indoctrinated with all of their information about how they genetically splice humans together with all kinds of different animals um, and like like CRISPR but on steroids but also 
like Texas Chainsaw, disgusting, right? Um, they are able to, the things that they can do are are grotesque, and they 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 torture you and tell you they're going to do these things to you. Um, think about living like that for the, for a year. Think about all of that, and so when you see that and worse, and I haven't even shared much, nothing good can come from beings, entities, cockroaches, maggots, whatever these things are, they're not human. Nothing good can come from that. That's pure psychopathy, pure sociopathy. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 10.9, like, it's just beyond. And when you're that high on the scale, like a Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy times 10, you know, whatever comes from that is not good. It, it's, 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 it, you're, they're always thinking, well, how's this going to help us? How's this going to benefit us? What can we do to her that we will enjoy because we're sadists, that we can methodically extend her torture? And just because she doesn't want to live, we're going to make her live and we're going to do this, this, and that. Um, you know, it, there's no good that can come from that. The if there was any good that can come from something, then what I have witnessed these people do would not have happened. Does that make sense? I mean, it, it, it's so much dark, evil, disgusting, depraved, sadistic. It's so bad that there is, they have no humanity left within them, and neither you, gang stalker that's listening, you, you pathetic perp, uh, there's nothing good in you. And your humanity has been ripped away from you as well. And I, I, I feel for you. You know, I feel pity. And I feel a lot of pity for humanity. Um, the good people of this planet are the people that I used to cry for. I don't seem to cry that much anymore. Uh, and that's it. Just kind of documenting my zombification and my remnants of not wanting this to happen and my prediction that it's going to all end in something that is going to amuse them and um and I just I'm I'm so frustrated that I can't stop it if if I can stop it it would have to be something quick and I might be able to manage that something spontaneous because I've seen them I've seen two big mistakes they've made, and so uh, I know not everything is controlled perfectly, not all, all the time. Um, and you know, I think you guys are hateful pieces of shit. <laughs> what can I say? There's something wrong with you. There is something wrong with you. There's something wrong with this world. You are the pestilence. You are the virus that needs to be stamped out, that needs to be culled. Not not us, not me. Um, when you're killing people like JFK who just wanted to help the country, when you're killing people like Martin Luther King who just wanted to help other black people and create a movement, when you're killing people like Harvey Milk who was one of the, probably the most influential person to uh, influence the um, LGBT community um, and so on and so forth when you're doing stuff like that and you're part of that you're a sellout you're a traitor you're a low life you're a coward you're not someone that deserves anything good and and so um, you know and then the fat sad thing is they can't feel you can't feel shame these are beautiful amazing gifts, emotions, shame, and guilt, anger, jealousy. It's, it makes us what we are. And for you not to be able to experience it and partake in the full spectrum of emotions means that you're not human anymore. And, and you're an aberration. And them turning me into that is hard to, I don't know. It's tragic. There's no words to actually describe it. It's it's a slipping away of your humanity. How do you put that into words? 
with that, uh, I'm just going to leave you with that in, um, you know, I, I made my first prayer in, I don't know, maybe 15 years, maybe more. And I prayed that, and obviously it was sarcastic and sardonic, but that I could get the chance to rip somebody apart. Preferably a lot of people, one of the, these higher up gang stalkers, not the not the plebes, not the not the not the fat cows and the and the boorish ones. Just and I and I typed Amen. And you know what? You want me to pray? Those are the kinds of things I'll pray for. Because this planet is it's too late. There's no way. Too many narcissists, too many psychopaths in control now. The network of people in control are psychopaths. So um, unless a comet hits us and we have to start all over again, it's it's never going to change. So anyways.